we have a problem in keratoconus where uh, we have uh, very limited surgical options available to improve vision if the patient is contact lens intolerant. So we can put in uh, something like Intax or Kerring, which flatten the mid periphery of the cornea uh, and not always the centre of the cornea. Um, or we can go on to a, a corneal transplant with a uh, deep lamellar or penetrating uh, keratoplasty. So the idea was to um, create a procedure which was uh, almost in between where you would get some flattening of the cornea, uh, but in, uh, in addition you'd thicken the cornea um, and uh, you'd be able to treat these um, moderate cases uh, more easily which uh, don't have an option at the moment. The technique for the surgery is very simple. Uh, what we do is we create a, uh, a mid-stromal pocket um, of um, just over seven millimeters uh, diameter. So you can create this either with a femtosecond laser um, or with a, a manual dissection uh, with a deep lamellar blade. Um, and uh, you get a, um, a, a lamella uh, from the um, uh, Gabao GLC expert and we um, put that into this pocket um, and um, suture it. Uh, you have an option of uh, cross-linking as well to try and stiffen it uh, even further, but the, the actual technique is very simple. It's the only system which allows you to uh, create a, um, a lamella of uh, a certain thickness and a certain shape. So we're at the very early stages with this technique. So we used a 100 micron planar um, lamella, but uh, we can change the shape um, and uh, we're looking at changing this to a, a concave shape to reduce the amount of myopia, um, which will uh, obviously benefit keratoconus patients in different ways. This is a surgical procedure, so um, it has to follow um, full sterile um, uh, procedures within theatre. So it's not uh, uh, like a LASIK where uh, one may not do a, uh, uh, a full sterile procedure. You actually treat this as a, uh, almost as if you're treating a, uh, a deep lamellar keratoplasty. So we have the same equipment and the same setup. Uh, the lenticle is unique because it's uh, the shape um, and thickness that you want. So you can customise the lenticule um, for the patient and ultimately you can, use, um, you can create different amounts of flattening and different amounts of uh, correction of myopia. I think this will be a patient by patient basis. It's, uh, uh, if you are uh, suspicious that there's progression of uh, the condition, uh, then obviously uh, you will want to cross-link um, at the same time. And the technique we used was to put the riboflavin into the pocket um, rather than to remove the epithelium, which is what I would normally do. Um, but uh, if this is a stable keratoconus, uh, I believe we will find with time it's not necessary. If, if the lenticule is uh, pre-cut, uh, we've uh, chosen the, um, the size and shape uh, cu and customised it for the patient and then the actual surgery uh, becomes very quick. So it's, uh, this can be easily done within uh, 30 minutes. So compared to most of the other um, uh, options, it's a, uh, it's a very rapid procedure. We would expect that uh, these patients uh, would get much better um, unaided visual acuity. Um, if, the, uh, if they need uh, um, uh, refraction, then um, uh, we hope that we've made uh, the cornea more regular so that uh, we should be able to give them glasses. And um, in the slightly more uh, steep cor corneas, we would hope that we would make uh, contact lens fitting easier.